Hi everyone, today we'll be learning about mitosis. First of all, you need to know the definition of mitosis and also the purpose of it. Mitosis is defined as a process of nuclear division. which results in formation of two genetically identical daughter nuclei. So the keyword here is genetically identical daughter nuclei. It means that it is a process of dividing one nucleus to form two nuclei which are the same as their parent cell. So, why is mitosis important? It is the way in which any cells divide when they are first replacing their worn out cells, second, to repair any damaged part of its body, and third, to regenerate. It is also important to know that mitosis is used in asexual reproduction, in unicellular organisms such as amoeba. Unicellular organism means one cell organism. Asexual reproduction is when an offspring is formed from one organism. It means that all the genes are inherited from just one organism. It does not require two parents and there was no involvement of fusion of gametes. Remember, the keyword here is genetically identical. Before we go into the details of the process of mitosis, it is important for you all to know how to count chromosome. This is one chromosome. After DNA replication, it means uh, after DNA made a copy of itself, the chromosome has become a pair of two sister chromatids attached together by centromere. So this is one chromosome. And even though the genetic material has already been duplicated, this duplicated chromosome is still considered as one chromosome as long as the centromere is intact. So this is one sister chromatid. You can see that after duplication, it has become two sister chromatids in one chromosome. Now, let's look at the process of mitosis. This is parent cell, and what I'm drawing here is chromosome. Here, I only show two chromosomes. There are actually a total of 46 chromosomes in human cell. What I want you guys to just imagine that there are 46 little structures like this in real picture. For the purpose of learning, I'm just showing two over here. These are parent chromosomes. Before the mitosis starts, each chromosome made a copy of themselves, which we call it as DNA replication. So this is what happened. We can see that each copy still remained attached to the original one. So now, the chromosome consists of two sister chromatids attached to each other at the centromere. So what happened next step? 
the chromosomes will arrange themselves in one line at the equator. The chromatids are then pulled apart, as you can see here, and they move towards the opposite poles. So now you can see that the chromosomes separate. So the chromosomes has already separated. So two chromosome has now become four chromosomes. Eventually, the cytoplasm will also divide. So you can see that at the end of the cell division, two cells are formed and each has two chromosomes. So now, let's compare our end product with the cell that we begin with. You will find that they actually contain the same number of chromosomes. Here is two and here is two as well. So remember, the aim of mitosis is to produce two daughter cells which are identical to their parent cells. So the chromosome number is maintained as 46. And this is important for the normal functioning of the cell.